All right, and you're, are, are we ready for the, the last part of the final oh, story? Oh, yes. I please. think this is where he tells us why JFK was shot. Mm -hmm. Oh, great. Listen cool. closely. You might All miss right. it. He just throws it out there casually. It's like the X-Files. I swear to God, if you don't spit up water right now. <laughs> here we go. And speaking of that war, you know, the French started... Well, I don't say the French started that war, but the French were in there. Why couldn't we just let the French handle it? Why do we have to intercept in any war to the power and the glory? Let me get into that with the next story. Uh, our final story, actually, because I'm going to talk about this issue. Finally, World War II medals, medals were given to Asian Hawaiian soldiers. They were finally honored for their effort in World War II. Excuse me, but if I remember correctly, the Japs bombed Pearl Harbor, which is in Burl. Hawaii. Pearl Burl. Burl Burl Harbor? Burl. Uncle Milty Harbor? Pearl <laughs> Harbor? Is that it, Spaz? Burl Harbor? Sometimes I don't enunciate. <laughs> <laughs> Isolate that. <laughs> Excuse Sometimes. me, but if I remember correctly, the Japs bombed Burl Harbor, <laughs> which is in Hawaii, by the way, for those who don't know geography. <laughs> and um, <laughs> after that last story, for those that don't know <laughs> geography, like I do, <laughs> with uh, Hanoi, Korea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Could you possibly be any dumber? All right, here we go. I don't see the Hawaiians trying to attack back. Okay, you see, I see, okay, they were taking care of the Americans who were there on vacation where our ship's there. But I don't see the Hawaiians trying to help us to fight, okay? It's on vacation. We were there on vacation. No, wait, he's killing me. He's killing me, right? The, the, the United States Naval Forces were in Hawaii on vacation yeah. during... <laughs> Yes, when the Japs bombed Disney World. <laughs> Wait a minute. The the United States Navy yeah. was on vacation in Hawaii. Yes. And the Hawaiian soldiers <laughs> How did the that Hawaii were there, the Hawaiian soldiers uh, w should have been protecting the vacationing American fleet. Yes, because that's what they're, you know, in junction with us for. So why did they get uh, medals when they totally screwed up? Defending our vacationing troops in Hawaii because we felt bad for them. <laughs> yeah, we need a few carriers and destroyers to vacation in Hawaii. And how do they all get the uh, vacation at the same time? Yeah, but it, that's not they easy. They put in for it. We're it's, trying to get everyone from the show to go on vacation at the same time. We can't time even coordinate. And we're having that. a tough time. Well, it was the 1940s. Ah, <laughs> very good. Okay, can fast, we, fast. Before we continue, could you loosen the straps on your hockey helmet? <laughs> You better watch out, or the vacationing Hawaiians will get you. Uh, Lewis. <laughs> okay, okay. First of all, dudes, I've been working on getting through to you guys for 40 minutes, and it's worth it. Spaz, pay close attention. This is going to take a couple of minutes, but open your ears and shut your gaping mouth. <laughs> Number one. There cannot be inhabitants on Mars of the human sort, which means you can go, because trees cannot be planted there either, because there is no air. You dumb ass. That's firstly. Secondly, uh, Hanoi Jane uh, was part of uh, the South Korean thing, which is a subsection of Vietnam, which is a, a byproduct of, of, of cat food, I think. <laughs> Good God almighty. You guys have been on two years. I got to congratulate you. You guys are amazing. I love the show. And, and I even love Spaz because he's living proof that... Not all humans have evolved yet. Yeah. And you know what? We're safe from the Martian spaz. You know why? Because they're afraid of you. <laughs> because you're so effing dumb that if they came here, you'd rub off on them. <laughs> and then they wouldn't know how to fly back to where they came from. They'd be spaz-like. <laughs> They'd be afraid of height. Louis, Louis. I, I thank you, but I have to hear the rest of this uh, yeah. Hawaiian yeah, Japan. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Oh yeah. By the way, uh, uh, there were no heroes in Hawaii, Spaz. There were just a bunch of coconut salesmen. <laughs> and your head is a coconut, you dumb ass. They bombed the crap out of Hawaii, where many ships were sunk vacationing. With yeah, where many people were vacationing. 
me on the beach with the wiki wiki girls, <laughs> you dumbass. Okay. All right, I got to hang up. Yeah, I, I, I got to hear the rest he'll, of it. He'll go forever. Uh, Andy from Brooklyn. Spaz says, tear down the wall, reunite East and West Korea. <laughs> and Dave from Jersey. Annoy Jane, meet Annoy Spaz. <laughs> <laughs> annoy. <laughs> Oh. All right, I backed up the tape just a couple oh, seconds right. so we get Good. the gist of this Vacationing last story. Vacationing troops. Don't forget, we're going to get to why JFK was shot as well in this uh, story. The Japs bomb Pearl Harbor, which is in Hawaii, by the way, for those who don't know geography. And um, I don't see any Hawaiians trying to attack back. Okay, you see, I see, okay, they were taking care of the Americans who were there on vacation with our ships there. But I didn't see any Hawaiians trying to help us to fight, okay? You know, they're... The bombing island. All right, let me just give you my theory on this. See, I the Americans in Hawaii knew. See, the Hawaiian people knew that the Japs were coming over to bomb. The Hawaiian people knew. They had intercepted a telecommunique and they tried <laughs> to contact the United States government, tell them that hey, you know, the Japs are coming. But then the Hawaiians made a joint agreement with the U.S. government to say, you know what? Don't warn the American soldiers. Why? Why didn't they want him, did not warn the American soldiers? Because they wanted the war. Why did they want the war? Because war is the biggest source of economy in the world at that time. <laughs> they were just coming out of the Depression in the 1930s. U.S. needed money really, really bad. They, so they gave Hawaii a cut. Just does not warn the American ships to get into, so they have their first opportunity to jump into World War II and kick some German Nazi ass. <laughs> so I just think that's very weak. They're going to find a different source to get the cash, like maybe re enter the stock market. After the big crash, there's always a big boom. <laughs> it's like whatever goes up must come down. Law of Newton. So. The law of Newton! The law of Newton! The law of Fig Newton! The law of Newton! Whatever goes up must come, come down! down. <laughs> you can't eat just one! The law of Newton! Isaac Newton. <laughs> Isaac Newton, yes. So thank you, Spat. Let's continue. All I'm saying is that they didn't have to do it that way. Innocent people got killed for what? To boost other people's paychecks, especially in the U.S. government. I just think it's sick. And they did the same thing with Vietnam War. They didn't warn the Americans. Why? Because they needed to stay in the war. Exactly why Kennedy was shot. If people wanted to stay in the war, Kennedy wanted out of the war. Why? Because everybody wants the moolah that you get from war. I mean, I just think it's just sickening, okay? And that's my theory on that. And that is... The K Dog Week in Review. <laughs> can someone, can someone zap me? I'm dying. Bring in, please, bring in the psycho Mark Mallet and hit us all on the head. Oh my dear sweet Jesus! Kennedy was killed over the Vietnam over the War. Vietnam War because he, what he wanted out, and what? How wasn't? How wa weren't the American people warned about what Vietnam thing? Like, like the, you're saying the Americans weren't warned about bombing a Pearl Harbor. How did that? Uh, happened in Vietnam. What weren't they warned about? Easy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's never easy with you, man. They would probably just tell him, say, you know what, this is just a peaceful mission just to help out the refugees. So they send them over and they say, you know what, nah, there's not going to be much going on over. And then all of a sudden they say, you know what, you got to pick up a gun and, and shoot, and shoot okay. that, that, that guy. He's over almost there. right. They did start out just sending some advisors over there. Okay. Yeah, to help out the French. Okay. All right. I, I'll give you. All right, listen. I'll give you a piece of that one, but the whole Japanese, Hawaii, American thing. They knew. The, who knew? The, the Hawaiians intercepted the Hawaiian. Do you realize that? Do, do you realize the American naval forces were there because that's where the goddamn base was? That they were ba the Pacific <laughs> Fleet was based in Hawaii. That's where they lived. That's where our ships were stationed in Hawaii. It was an American military base. But think of this, okay? <laughs> See, they, they weren't vacationing there. <laughs> See, they were. The hey, God, make a left with the carrier. I want to go to Hawaii. Did they use Priceline.com? <laughs> Priceline. <laughs> Priceline. <laughs> You see, they weren't in the war yet. They didn't get into the war until December seventh, when they when Pearl Harbor got bombed. So they were there getting massages and like a little ukuleles by the by the by the Kiki girls. So that, until until they got into the war, did you realize we were stationed there though? But they were Hawaii was a a military base for the United States. They had nothing to do. They were hanging on the beach. Why are you trying to explain it to them? They were hanging on the beach until they got... So what you, and, and the medals that you were talking about yes. were given to Asian soldiers that fought in the American uh, Army. But they didn't do much to prevent Pearl Harbor. 
What? <laughs> Otherwise, it wouldn't have gone bombed so much. If they helped, no one could have prevented that. It was that. a sneak attack. It was a sneak attack. Yes, they could have prevented because they intercepted the telecommunicate. <laughs> what was this telecommunicate? Yeah, there, there, there were they, some inklings. Were they the, online with AOL? And AOL, happened? yeah. They got an instant message. <laughs> you got mail. <laughs> oh, look at that. We're going to be bombed. Right. No, there were certain clues. But it wasn't anything like, uh, you know, there's conspiracy theorists that say that, that uh, the American government knew and wanted to get in the war, but the uh, American people were against it. So this was a good way to uh, get into it. But that's just like a, a conspiracy theory uh, that's uh, kind of crazy. Well, they did a whole program on it where this guy was talking about it, and I watched it, and it made very good sense to me. Well, then it must not have made any sense to anyone else. <laughs> it made very good sense. If you thought, if you came away from that thinking the American forces were vacationing on Hawaii, ah, uh, Kevin. Yeah. What's oh up? my God. Awesome. What's up? I want to tell you guys, um, I, I, what I learned today, and that was the biggest Japanese spy in World War II must have been in the U.S. Department of Navy's travel and tourism department. <laughs> Spaz, you're an idiot. I'm driving my car off the Tappan Zee Bridge just because I had to hear you tonight. All right, thank you, Kevin. The funniest thing night. about Spaz is he gets these little pieces of facts, like just little tidbit flake of fact, and then everything else is and, fabricated and around off. it. And Spaz is uh, Cerebrum uh, checking in on line one. Hello. Spaz, can you take me out of the jar of formaldehyde and put me back in your goddamn head, please? <laughs> hey, Anthony. Yeah. I wanted to give you a humanitarian award for working with retard. I, I see that you're painstakingly trying to educate the handicapped. I'm trying, but it doesn't work. Obviously. We're going to get an award from the Special Olympics soon. Syndication over here now. All right, thank Later, you. Later, guys. All right, I think we're done. Uh, Spaz's dad checking in, Anthony. Mm. The big stupid one's my son. <laughs> <laughs> the big yellow one's a son. Spaz, who was more evil, North or South Hawaii during uh, the war? <laughs> they were neutral. They All were right. neutral. All right, listen. Listen, They Ed. were neutral. I, listen, Ed. I, listen, Ed. Oh, my God. We got to save some for uh, future shows, trust me. All right, um, we have one more surprise for Spaz after after we take a break. What? We have a big surprise for Spaz <laughs> after a bigger we take a break. surprise that may do more damage than the bombing of Pearl Harbor. Oh yes, so you by the vacationing stay. American. You better forces. stay right there in your seat, Pally. <clears throat> wait, wait, what's? Uh, we just got a wait, big wait, wait, surprise wait, for you. And don't forget, right after the show tonight, Anthony, seven o'clock in a half hour. We're uh, tooling down to La Barba at 57th Street between 8th and 9th Avenues uh, to, to drink beers with our listeners. We're celebrating two years on the radio today. We're buying the first 800 beers, so if you're in the area, stop by and, uh, and grab a cold one, okay? Was it over when the Germans bombed Pearl Harbor? <laughs> <laughs>